well hello there so i have not picked up the camera in forever and there is very good reason nah there's not a really good reason just been busy as always so behind me is the e30 so i'm just gonna make a quick video let me bring you guys up to speed with where it's been over the last uh i think it's been like maybe two months since i touched it so here we go okay so as you can see here the engine is in so the 2j is officially in to the e30 and i have a bunch of stuff mocked up but again i'm gonna take it one step at a time show you guys what i have working with. so the trans is not in okay that's very heavy to fit all of this in there um the mounts are also not bolted up but right here but i do i did end up using the i think it's feed engineering swap mounts for this car i did not really feel like building any mounts for it so this is for the e30 chassis it uses the factory e30 mounts and the 2j fits into there um again bottom panel all that stuff you already know that so i fit it into there a couple of days ago okay so you can see both sides are not bolted in the trans is not in so to get this in let me show you guys what i had to do the brake master is completely out it's the one i had in there is not going to fit i spent a bit of out of a few hours trying to figure out a way around it but it's not going to fit so i'm going to have to do something different when it comes to brake master and the servo um yeah that's my train of thought again i'm a bit rusty when it comes to this youtube thing but other than that, um, the engine is in. I do have the plenum on it. I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to modify the plenum a bit. So this is a little bit too close to the radiator. The radiator will end up being somewhere here. So my thing is probably cut off two, two and a half inches here. So this will essentially be here. So that way I'll be able to use a coupler to join this intercooler pipe to that. So that's in the works. Um, I did throw on this dirty harness which i'm gonna clean up so no one needs to tell me that it's really i know that and this distributor so this is a non-vvti 2j so it does come with a distributor they don't look the best but the plus is that you get the strongest um, bottom end with those so you get the best rods with the any 2j's in comparison to the vvti 2j's um yeah so what was i saying yeah the harness so my plan is basically the harness is already routed and it does have a few i've already began stripping it out so it does have a few extra plugs that i don't use so my plan is to remove some of the unnecessary stuff only leave the stuff that you need to run an engine and that is injectors single coil um, distributor for rpm signal tps um what else a temp sensor coolant temp sensor uh, that's about all you really need for to run a, this engine anyways um i am i am gonna repurpose some wires and then add a boost controller and i'm also gonna use the factory knock sensor see how well that works i've heard it doesn't work the best with 2j's i generally always use the bosch wideband knock sensors but again these are on there so i'm, I'm probably gonna go ahead and use this just to test it out um so the harness as you can see it already runs here i'm hoping to keep this piece of plastic i like how it looks i'm deliberating whether i'm gonna allow the harness to continue to route hair or undo all of the plastic and run it under the intake manifold for a cleaner look but i'm not sure how well the injector wires are going to stretch to fit where they need to go but I'm gonna figure all of this out today and start working on it. Um, this is the harness. I already took out the plastic piece here. So I'm now deliberating whether I want this part of the harness, which would normally go to the stock ECU to go through here, the factory hole for my brake booster and whatnot. Or if I'm gonna route it where I have always routed my harnesses in this end and going through this hole. So again, gonna figure that out. The plan is, like I said, is to use as much factory stuff as possible. And I'm going to use the factory plugs. I believe that's the plan for now anyways. 
and I'm just going to make a plug and play harness, plug and play ECU for this harness. So when I'm done with it, it's essentially just going to be an ECU, plug it in. Toyota never really made those ECUs programmable to my knowledge. I think some guys over in Japan can put daughter boards in there, but we don't have access to that sort of technology. So it's essentially going to be the stock 2JZ GE ECU plug and play. It's going to be a full standalone ECU. Um, probably going to rock that for a little bit um, just to get the car working. Um, but inevitably, I don't like to see these sort of harnesses. Again, you have to compromise too much when you're starting off with a factory harness to make it look how you want. So down the road, probably a couple of months, we're going to rip it all out and build something fresh. But this will be enough to get us going for now. So that is all I have done over the last few months. Again, I have not touched this up until last week. I had not touched this up until um, ever since the last update video went out. So I'm happy to be working on this and I hope to at least get it fired up very, very, very soon. So anyone who's asking, the E30 is here, dirty as ever. Trend still needs to go in and finish wiring it up and then we're gonna fire it up. So stay tuned for update guys.